Where are you guys? This is Gotham. That's his name. His name is Gotham. How badass is that? <laughs> Clicker's over there, buddy. You ready? All right, do it. Anyway, how's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> anyway, as Michael mentioned, I'm Gotham, like Gotham City. Um, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a founder of Peer. So Peer is a platform that allows anyone to access an affordable peer tutor with the tap of a button. It's, it's that simple. And the problem that we're addressing is tutoring is expensive and complicated. So I'm Indian, and uh, growing up, academics was a huge focus in my home life. Uh, my mom would tell me if I ever came home with a B, um, actually, I should just not come home if I got a B. <laughs> so um, a big problem for me growing up was um, I needed to get tutored whenever I had a subject or homework that I needed help in. Um, and the trouble was, it was a pain in the ass. I'd go on Craigslist, go through a bunch of tutors, find some guy that I wouldn't know in his 50s, go to a tutoring session, and then not know if he'd show up two or three sessions later. Um, so I thought, there has to be a better way. Come Peer. So Peer is an easy way for any high school student to get tutoring with three simple steps. You push a button on our app, you book your Peer tutor, and you pay a flat rate of $25 an hour. And kind of the market that we're addressing is obviously tutoring, which in the past couple years has grown exponentially, over 6% year over year. And in 2017 is estimated to be about $15 billion. And the specific demographic that we're addressing, which is high school students, is also growing at about 100,000 students every year. So in 2019, 16 and a half million high school students in the United States. Um, so we know when we designed the product and we set up our business model, it needed to be something that works for everybody. And so this is what we came up with. We charge each user $25, take a 40% commission from the session, and pay each of our high school tutors $15 an hour. Pretty simple. Um, and the product that we designed, which I'm going to show you, is very, very intuitive for any user to come book a session. It starts pretty simple. You go in our app, you browse a bunch of tutors, you choose the one that you like, um, and you filter based on subjects, proximity, rating, whatever you prefer. Go in, choose what you want, find a tutor, check their profile out, look at their bio, look at their reviews. Book your session, choose your subject, choose your time. We curate a list of great locations for you to check out as well. So if you want to go to your uh, local Starbucks, we'll have it updated on our platform. Choose your location, and then a messaging will open up when your session's booked. You can send in pre-session materials and get feedback after your session, et cetera, et cetera. And kind of the competitive landscape that we're in, um, it's kind of crowded, but specifically in the market that we're addressing, which is peer tutoring for high school students, we're the only ones doing it. Um, there is competition in college peer tutoring. They're very, very recent, 50K family and friend, six months old. But the majority of the market is actually in professional tutoring by degreed individuals, where you see giants like Kaplan and Sylvan, $10 billion plus valuations, um, and giants like Wyzant, who are our direct online competition. But because our platform is simple, affordable, and accessible, uh, we feel like we can kind of nail it and get the market share that we need. With that, I'd love to answer any questions. Talk about the product, talk about the business model, whatever. How much time? Great. Over here. Sure. So college tutoring and high school tutoring is a totally different market, right? So high school tutors right now, you, get, you can get, you tutored high school students, but peer tutoring is high school students for high school students. So the tutors that we employ are for our high school students. Exactly. So that's where the peer tutoring comes into play. And the average tutor pay you'd get on a high school student right now is about $11 from Athanasium. There is. Sure, but you know, I'm a huge believer that you don't need a, mas or a master's in mathematics to teach Algebra 2. Um, so any kid who's gone through the Algebra 2 course can, can do a pretty good job of, of going through the material, especially since it's all standardized nowadays with A-B tests. So, 
That's right. I mean, th I mean, it's the marketing is going to be segmented definitely, but peer tutoring is definitely something both parents and students can enjoy. And our market, kind of academic market, we're going for. You're going to see a lot of students who want to get the help they need as well as the parents who want to help their students. Sure. Independent contractors, just like an Uber driver. Um, exactly. That's exactly right. Sure. An hour, $25 an hour. That's pretty standard in, in tutoring. Sure. Great question. So the good thing about high school students is, I mentioned this earlier, all the course material is all standardized to AP tests. So. We can actually go in and someone who's taken the AP exam for Calculus BC will have gotten the results within a few months. We'll be able to go in, check out how they did on their AP exam. Um, and with that, we can vet them and check out if they're qualified to teach in that exam. And pretty much being out of high school, you know, a few months back, I can tell you that it's very easy to kind of go in and see who knows their material and who doesn't. Sure, and that's, that's a great question, and a lot of that comes into the vetting process, that the tutors that we select, heavy code of conduct, very anti-procrastination. Um, obviously, we can't sit in every session and make sure no one does it, but we can promote a code of conduct that, that goes against cheating. In the back over there. Sure, yeah, that's a great question. So lifetime value is four years for each of our, our and that's ideal, starting freshman, ending senior. The great thing about the platform is there is no other alternative to get an income for high school students besides working a minimum wage job or going to Mathanasium getting $11 an hour. So we feel the fact that we offer a great competitive advantage on the financial end uh, will incentivize a lot of high school students to continue coming on the platform even though we're losing and fleshing out the system every year. Not many, but that's the whole benefit of being an independent contractor. You can work on your schedule, on your subjects you like. In the back. Yeah. Yep, that's a great question. Um, and attrition rate is a huge part of the tutoring industry, no matter what platform you use. But the biggest benefit that we, that we want to build is we want to build a brand where being a peer tutor is, is something that you can kind of uh, be prideful in. And staying on the platform would be more of a benefit than actually leaving it. And that's just something that we're setting up in a culture fit, in a, um, in a community fit. But, but your answer to that question is we really can't stop them, uh, but we can promote them and help their process of tutoring um, more than they would working as an independent tutor. Awesome. <laughs> sure. Awesome. We'll talk about it later. Thank you. So, sometimes I feel like such a